Hey everyone, John at A-Track Avenue here. Today I'm going to do a little video showing you the basics of how an 8-track player works and the importance of keeping your tapes maintained and player maintenance. So in, in every player you've got a switch either on the side or on this bottom plate here that activates the motor once the tape is put in. You've got the track change sensor and you've got the playhead and the capstan shaft. Basically all that the track change sensor is is an open circuit and the circuit becomes temporarily closed uh, when the sensing foil hits this. So you've got two terminals here that are, se that are separated. One terminal has a hot wire, one terminal is cold, and the cold wire goes to the solenoid here see that there's the solenoid most players have some type of a setup like this with a solenoid that hits this plastic wheel the plastic wheel is attached to this and then how, where, wherever it hits on this wheel determines if the if the head goes up or down so when the foil hits this it temporarily connects these two terminals so power gets from this wire into this wire activates the solenoid and there you go then of course you've got the playhead and you've got the capstan shaft. Now the capstan shaft, let's see if I can put this in here. The capstan shaft is what spins, it, it both pulls the tape and spins the pinch roller. So as this is spinning, when you put your tape in, it starts to pull the tape from the center here and then the tape goes over the chuck chain sensor, goes over the playhead between the pinch roller and the capstan shaft and then it starts winding back onto the outer part of the reel. So proper tape maintenance is critical here because you don't want anything anything like dried lubricant or gummy lubricant on the spindle here that the pinch roller rides on is going to is going to potentially affect speed. It's going to cause it to drag. If you don't have proper pads in here, if they're too thick, if they're if they're, if they're worn out, then you're not going to get proper <clears throat> proper alignment of the play tape up against the tape head. And of course, that will affect that that will definitely affect uh, fidelity, uh, the fidelity of the of the tape during playback. So it's equally important to keep the playback head clean and the caps and shaft clean as it is to keep your tapes maintained. Another thing too is if the tension is too loose on your tape it's going to cause an issue because it's not it's going to greatly uh, increase the disparity in speed between what's being pulled out and what's being put back on the reel so that can cause your tapes to get eaten or to have a lot of wow and flutter if the tension is way too loose another thing too um, is you know the eight track format as much as we all love it it's it's a dirty format uh, because of the because of the graphite lubricant on the back side of the tape. So depending on you know how much you use your player and how badly the tapes are degrading because some tapes obviously shed graphite a lot more than others. Some tapes with some tapes the binder that 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 uh, keeps the graphite on the back of the tape has weakened over time so you get uh it's that's why you get with some tapes, especially the ones with the plastic pinch rollers. You know, you may uh, pull one out and show you this. You'll you'll see this. You know, that's because the binder is uh, letting go, and you've got this this on the pinch roller. Well, this is going to get on the capstan shaft, and it's going to get on the head, the head of the player as well. And so, it's important to keep those clean so that it's not affecting playback. You know, it's also not uncommon either for a glob of, uh, you know, of crap to come off the tape as it's playing and get stuck on one, one part of the head, one of the channels of the head here. So if you're listening to a tape that you know has got a good pad uh, and all of a sudden you lose all fidelity in, in one channel, odds are that most likely some stuff has come off the tape and is now blocking blocking the signal on that channel okay so how do you keep how do you keep uh, the inner workings of the player with as far as the the head and the capstan shaft clean and serviced 
Well, different people have different uh, different methods. Um, I do not think the cleaning tapes, the the new old stock cleaning tapes you can purchase, those are a waste of money because it's simply just one pretty short strip of of a cleaning cloth um, attached. So it's just you're just it's just looping around and it's picking up dirt and just redepositing it. I mean, it's not really doing doing much. Um, so I prefer using rubbing alcohol. I like to use at least 91%. And I make these and sell them, but you can make them yourself. It's just a uh, it's a three tab cart that I've removed the pinch roller and pads from, and I have inserted a cleaning cloth that I have cut. just cut into strips here and fold it up so that it so that it fits into the slot here where the pinch roller was that's all it is these are cleaning cloths uh, this one is a is a mr. clean but you can get these you can get these at the dollar store you can get them at your grocery store this one's been somewhat cut up but it's just it's just one of these is kind of a stiff cleaning cloth that you can get in your cleaning the cleaning section of the dollar store or a grocery store. Okay. So what I do with these is I put a few drops of, of rubbing alcohol on the on the pad here, the cloth, insert it in the machine, and then of course this one is not hooked up to anything, but you insert it, insert it in the machine, let it play for a run for about 10 seconds, 20 seconds, take it out, then I remove this, and then flip it over. Just, you know, flip it over to a, where it's got a nice clean spot. Um, if it's still got a lot of rubbing alcohol on it, <clears throat> I don't put any more on it. If, if it doesn't, I'll put some more rubbing alcohol on it. Reinsert. Take it out. Take this out. Fold it into a, another way so that there's a clean space showing. And just keep doing that, doing that until this comes out and it's clean. And then you know that you've gotten all the buildup and crap off of that off your capstan shaft and then what I do is I take a scotch green pad let's see if I can here we go cut it so that it fits into this like so slips into there then I insert it after everything's dry insert this let it play for 10 to 20 seconds remove and what the scotch pad does is it very lightly scuffs up the capstan shaft because the capstan shaft is not supposed to be smooth and shiny in the play area um, it commonly is because and that's due to wear um, I don't recommend using sandpaper on it uh, I know some people some people like to do that um, just occasionally they remove it and do that to rough and stuff up I don't like to do that because you really don't want to remove anything um, because that will that can affect playback. If you remove too much material off that, it's it's going to throw tolerances out, and stuff's not going to play right. So, I recommend just using the scotch the scotch pad. It it does a good job of just scuffing things up a little bit so that it can grip the tape a little bit better, and you're not removing any material. Now, for the next part, uh, please unplug your machine. It is never a good idea. To stick anything in here, even though this is non-conductive, even though the motor is not running, their stuff is still can still be hot, um, and you do not want to stick something. You don't want to stick a wet cotton swab in here and touch a live wire or something. So <laughs> I recommend unplug your machine, please, before doing this this next step. So what I do, and this is something you can easily do without having to open anything up. You just uh, push the cover up of the player. Dip one of these. These are six inch long Q-tips. So dip, dip them in that 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then you can very easily just go through and go back and forth on the head here. <clears throat> and it probably will take a couple, depending on how often you do this, um, you're going to go through several cotton swabs. But just keep doing that until, just like with the capstan shaft, until the cotton swab comes back and it's clean. Another thing you can use um, are these. These are 
foam cleaning sticks that are that are sold for printers. Um, you can get them on Amazon for really cheap and on, on eBay. They've got a nice soft foam head. Uh, they will they will withstand the, the rubbing alcohol. And as you can see, I mean, you can do a you can get a bigger swath of the head here clean with these foam sticks. They also work well on the uh, track chain sensor. Same thing. Either use this. You either use the cotton swab or the foam. You can use the foam stick and just clean it until nothing, until the foam stick or the cotton swab comes back clean, um, and then you know that everything is good to go. So hopefully you've come away with a little bit of a better understanding as to how your player works, how the tapes work, and why it's so important to do proper maintenance on your tapes and on your machine so that you can get the best sound quality and performance uh, out of both. This is John at A-Track Avenue. Thanks for watching.